such as the environmental sanitation campaign demands members of the public to change their attitudes towards the maintenance of a healthy environment, many people just don't want to give up their bad habits. Some people still prefer to dwell among heaps of refuse. At the backyard of one particular residential area near the state police headquarters at Elele, a heap of refuse was found uncleared despite a conspicuous barricade. The surroundings of some residential areas in the city were found littered with papers, leaves and human waste or faces. Gutters that were washed last Saturday during the campaign are now left uncared for. But areas like Bere, Oje, Oronyo and Isaliafa have maintained a relatively clean surroundings, except in certain areas like Alekuso and Agbeni, where indiscriminate dumping of refuse have persisted. In many areas designated for refuse dumps like Beria and Oje, where piles of junks occupied half of the roads are now made accessible to motorists, as most of the refuse have been collected by the authorities responsible for refuse collection. By 7 this morning, about 43 tipper lorries, pickups, trucks and load loaders were found at the state police headquarters playing ground, taking off to various locations in the city to collect refuse at the dumps. The chairman of the Environmental Sanitation Campaign Committee, Oyo State Police Commissioner Archibong Mkana, told TSOS News in an interview that the 43 vehicles were all given to the committee voluntarily without rental charges. The police boss was then asked to explain why refuse dumps are still found in the city uncollected. When the committee went into action on Saturday to do the physical uh, cleaning of the town, we did not emphasize that we will have uh, the type of problem in refuse collection in which we, have now, which we have now in our hands. We mobilized over 100 tippers and five pellulas on Saturday. And uh, by the end of the day, we realized that we still had a lot of heaps scattered all over the town. And uh, over this period, most of these equipment had been breaking down. And so by Monday, we were left with about 50 tippers to work with. And uh, we still had to work day and night. But uh, it's consoling that uh, most of these uh, heaps are now uh, disappearing. Uh, we still have quite a lot left, but I hope by the next uh, by the next week we should be able to clear the whole town completely. I will still appeal to some other Nigerians who have tippers, who have pair loaders, who have graders to help us because the ultimate aim is to get the town clean so that uh, with a better environment people can go about happily about, about their business. Mr. Nkana added that the committee is currently working on plans to collect refuse at night while the use of dustbins will be made a necessary household tool by members of the public in order to dissuade them from indiscriminate dumping of refuse. We have to appeal to members of the public to start acquiring dustbins because by the time they leave their dustbins filled up in the morning, they will find out that uh, it has been cleared. And perhaps those of them who will still be working in the daytime will introduce the habit of uh, ringing bells as they get to a neighborhood so that those of them who have the dustbins inside their compound can bring them and empty into the dustbin uh, vehicles. Various governments in the Federation have taken positive steps to ensure a healthy environment by setting up either environmental tax committee or an all-out crusade to get rid of filth in an attempt to make Nigeria a decent place to live in. However, the general tool of Nigerians can only translate the efforts of the various governments in the Federation into a positive and concrete realities through individual and collective clean habits. TSOS News.